This is probably one of the oldest myths in the book, jumping over the flagpole in the original Super Mario Bros. for the NES. If you've played the game, no doubt the thoughts crossed your mind at least once. But is it really possible to leap that towering metal giant? And if so, what exactly lies beyond the flagpole and that castle Mario vanishes into? This rumor was born in living rooms back in the late 1980s when the world was hooked on Mario. One of gaming's earliest urban legends, it's one of the most well-known myths even to this day. While there are several variations out there, the most common states you could jump over the flagpole on the very first level. There are eight worlds with four levels for a total of 32 possible opportunities. But then you have to factor in that eight of those levels are castles without a flagpole. In total, there are only 24 flagpoles Mario can interact with, and we're going to try to jump them all. We were skeptical for a while after numerous failed attempts, but our mad jumping skills would not be denied. On World 3-3, the impossible became a reality. That chubby little Italian plumber from Brooklyn just barely cleared the flagpole. But Joy quickly turned to panic as the ticker marched down to zero, and poor little Mario's triumph was short-lived. Originally, we thought it impossible to jump over the flagpole anywhere else in the game, but shortly after this episode was released, we were made aware of a glitch that was discovered several years ago called Walking the Turtle that allows Mario to not only get over the flagpole in World 1-1, but several other levels. In order to do this, you need to make it roughly halfway through the stage, right after you clear the second pit in the level. Once you've cleared it, you need to move just far enough right that there's just enough space for something to fall down it. You need to lure the Koopa Troopa over to the left side of the screen, and then you want to use a well-timed jump to hit the enemy just as it's falling into the gap. Then wait for the turtle to come out of its shell and carefully make your way over to the area with the flagpole without losing sight of the foe. Be sure to get the mushroom on your way to turn into Super Mario or else this won't work. When the turtle is roughly on the fourth block away from the pole, begin to make your jump. And if you timed it correctly, you'll see Mario make a bounce like he hit the turtle in mid-air and will clear the flagpole. Unfortunately, the end result is the same. Mario is stuck in an endlessly repeating area with no escape. So as you can see, not only is it possible to jump the flagpole in the first level, but in other levels as well. 